Coming up, move-in day for the tank. So it was a beautiful September day for move-in day over my house there in Vermont. You can see some of the autumn colors starting to show up and there's the house and the car with the U-Haul cargo trailer. So there's the tank inside the trailer and, and just waiting for the movers. They were actually a little bit late, but uh, they did show up, which was good. And just to give you a lay of the land, I have these uh, four by fours all set up throughout the side yard and the backyard with styrofoam blocks on them. So the movers can pull the tank out and stage one there and rest it on those blocks. And then these blocks were set up on the side in case they needed to, uh, to rest. But, um, you know, so this is going around the side yard and there's a bit of a uh, dip right here, a little bit of a hill. It actually is a little steeper than it appears. Here is a, um, the final uh, set of four by fours in the backyard where they'll put the tank down, but then they'll also turn on its sides. We'll have some more four by fours that uh, they will utilize. And now here's going into the, uh, the back of the house, through the door into the finished basement. And this is the room, cleared everything away. And there is the stand where the tank will uh, rest. So the movers showed up. They had, uh, there was four guys and they had four different suction cups. Totally recommend using suction cups for a move for a fish tank. So they put it down, um, you know, in this first spot right here. Everything was going well. Now they're heading down the, uh, the hill. And again, it's a little steeper than what it appears, but they, uh, they did make it fine going down the hill. I'm glad it wasn't raining out because then it would have been a little slipperier, but uh, it was a beautiful day again. So uh, it all worked out. Then they um, got to the last um, staging area here and put the tank down on its um, bottom. And the next part was to flip it on its side because we have to go through that door. I think the door jam was 32 inches wide, if I uh, recall correctly. So the tank is uh, 20 inches tall and you know plenty of room on either side to get the tank through the door. And hey, it's always, it's always stressful moving a tank, but uh, if you plan ahead and organize everything, then uh, it does go well. But it, it's, it's, not, um, it's not an easy thing. And <laughs> I've done it a few times in terms of coordinating these things. And, it could be, uh, you know, you can lose sleep over these if, if uh, you know, if you, if you uh, think about it too much. So now they're getting ready to flip it on its, um, the bottom there and the last final stage in terms of getting the tank up. I, um, I had a job once they lifted this tank up to move all the four by fours uh, out of their way. So I was uh, doing that very uh, quickly and they pivoted around and getting ready for the final approach onto the stand. And uh, let me tell you, man, they, uh, these guys nailed it. I mean, they put it down and I was taking a quick look around the tank and it pretty much was right on, you know, spot on. And, and everybody, they, they were psyched, they were uh, fist bumping there and, and I was doing uh, some elbow bumping to, uh, to those guys and very appreciative. And again, just uh, very glad that the tank was on the stand. Anyway, that'll do it for this video. Many thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. One last thing, if you need help with a new tank build, including help designing a custom aquarium or help reconfiguring your current setup, then feel free to reach out to me. I will put a link in the video description below. And if you are looking to add some equipment, I do sell GHL, Royal Exclusive, and Pax Bellum products which is the equipment I use and recommend. So again, I will put a link in the video description below. Again, thanks for watching. See you next time.